Hi, I'm Grace Speroni, and welcome to Conversations with the ERC5. Today, I'm so delighted to have with me Jennifer Wands from one of my favorite places, the Flower Shed. Jennifer, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Grace, for having me today. It's so exciting to have you here with us, and yes. thank you for bringing this beautiful arrangement. You're I welcome. love it. I thought a little bit of spring. Flowers always make me happy, and that little yes. bit of the daffodils gives us hope on a cloudy Yes, day. it does. <laughs> So um, let's begin with you telling me a little bit about yourself and how you started okay. in this this industry. Plant journey. So yeah, certainly. So I started the flower shed about four years ago. Um, started um, the business um, just about uh, the pandemic. Um, I had lost my job. And at that time, I decided that I wanted to do something that brought me joy. Um, I've always had a passion for gardening and flowers. Um, so I even was selling cut flower jars um, at the side of my driveway. Um, so I started doing flower containers. That. Yeah. Um, I started doing flower containers um, for homes and businesses. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll go out to your home or business and plant up your flower containers um, for all four seasons and maintain them. So adding some uh, splash of color, I say, to your entranceway or pool or patio. Um, so I was, I was building that business. I needed to um, have another source of revenue um, mm -hmm. coming in. So I started um, doing workshops, um, succulent workshops um, in the community. So at local wineries or breweries. Um, and it was a hit. Um, I, then I started doing farmers markets and bringing what I call is the succulent plant bar, um, where you can choose a vessel, choose your plants, choose your top dressing. Um, and it was an instant hit. I think it was that time of year where people wanted to connect with one another. Mm hmm. Um, people would ask me where I was located, um, and I said I was um, in my shed. So I actually did turn my shed into the uh, the flower shed. I love um, it. And then um, just found that um, I needed more of a creative space and storage space. Um, went over to the Indian Orchard Mills for a year and a half, um, and then really wanted to um, have a place where people could come, a brick and mortar, where people could come and connect. So I opened up the Flower Sheds Plant Boutique. Um, it'll be a year next month that will be in Wilbraham. So we have the Plant Boutique in Wilbraham. We offer a variety of houseplants, succulents, cacti, um, but what makes us unique is the DIY plant bar. So you can mm -hmm. come in at any time that we're open um, and create and plant in our potting room and then we host workshops there as well and we're still out and about in the community with the workshops and then again planting getting ready for to plant the flower containers starting in April yeah you certainly are yeah. everywhere yes <laughs> if there's joy that needs to be brought into someone's life you're there if you don't see me outside getting my hands dirty I'm inside in the <laughs> uh, plant boutique getting my hands dirty well, I, I love it. Your, your containers. I didn't realize that you had done that. Like we met each other through your, your brick and mortar. Yes, and yes. I, I love the shop because it just feels so good when you walk in. It's very warm and inviting. I love the plant bar is there so you can kind of play. It just is a great place to go at the end of the day, anytime. And I love your knowledge. It's like, oh, you know what? Like when I was looking for a plant for my desk, it's like, oh, I need a plant for my desk and this one looks good and this and this. But you were so good about directing me, like, you know, what was going to be able, if I neglected to water it, right. what would come back, what wouldn't. You just knew everything about all of these great plants. And it was like, that's so fantastic. I love that. I love your knowledge. Thank you. I and think what makes the plant unique and going into a smaller plant shop like that is just that customization. And um, we have a, a pet friendly area. So mm -hmm. if you have uh, some animals that like plants, so we have a strictly a pet friendly area and we have uh, low light area plants um, for like low lights. Um, but I try to, when people come in, get to know the person and their needs too. If it's a new plant uh, owner, um, giving them something that's more easy to um, mm -hmm. take care of. Um, and then if there's something, a plant that's a little bit more finicky, I'll be sure to let you know, like, you got to watch that plant. And mm -hmm. so, yeah. That means the world to me. I think that's fantastic. And I love that about you. Yeah. 
Um, that's you. one of the things that I love so much about you. And then I love how you're out in the community. Yes. And you can take the plant bar and you can do this just about anywhere. Tell us about some of the places yeah. you've been. Yeah. Really, when I had started the flower shed, it was really strictly doing the flower containers for homes and businesses. Mm -hmm. And this whole kind of plant bar and the opening up the plant um boutique happened really organically um, and it's really taken off. I, I, I still, still, still love to do the containers but um, so we have the plant boutique. We do workshops in there but we're also mobile so we'll go to um, local wineries and breweries. We've done things at Fieldcrest Brewing, mm -hmm. um, Iron Duke, Vanished Valley, Vanished you were at recently. Hardwick Winery. Mm -hmm. um, we'll even go um, to your home or business um, with the plant bar. So we do a lot of team building events. And it's just a really, it brings me joy um, to really see people connect with each other. Um, and then I wanted to provide... I wanted to give people an opportunity to correct, uh, connect and create, use their hands, mm -hmm. um, get in touch with nature. There's just something that's so serene about that um, when you get to use your hands in that sort of way. There is. There, I, I don't know. I think it's therapeutic plant to, therapy, to plant yes. and, and play in, in the dirt, in the dirt. if you will, it but is. to grow something, even, yes. even to walk in and pick up a plant from mm -hmm. you. But then as long as I care for it and nurture it, becomes my best buddy, all of a sudden I have this gorgeous plant that has yes. blossomed and you just feel like I did that. Yes. And it's such a good yeah. feeling. It, it is. And I say, you know, all ages, we do workshops for, mm -hmm. I said, from five to, uh, years old to 105. The kids love our workshops. Um, we're um, a part of the Wilbraham Farmers Market. Mm -hmm. um, and in the summers, we'll bring our plant bar and we'll do a paint and plant with the kids. So they'll paint a terracotta pot and then plant a succulent. And they just, they're so proud of themselves once they've finished with that. Um, and then we'll give them a care instructions so they can go home. And then it teaches them some type of responsibility. And they, they like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they feel very good about themselves yes. when they, you know, it starts to blossom and grow and things yes. like that. And it's like, oh, look. Yes. I, I did that. I love it the best when people come back and they'll say like, oh, my plant is doing fabulous and it's still <laughs> growing. You know, it just, it brings me joy. Plants bring us joy. Yes. And I'm grateful to you for bringing us yes. all of this, this joy. Well, again, I, it's, I, I thank you. And it's really, it's, it's uh, the community support. Um, that really is um, what keeps me going. And um, I'm just so thankful for um, the community, for all the support they've um, given me well, these past three few years. You've done great things in the community from your containers that, you know, even if uh, I know you go beyond Boston Road, but I'm just using that as an example. Um, how many of our businesses on Boston Road do you beautify their entryways yes, yes. And with, our, our, with your containers. Yeah, and that my the business owners that I, I work with, they've just been so supportive too. So mm -hmm. um, I did a little reel. So we've uh, done Core and More, Arisa Core and More, um, then Sandy with uh, Scented Garden, yeah. um, Chris at Common Grounds, and then um, Spartan Automotive. Um, and we've even gone up to um, over at Ludlow to Luso Federal Credit Union. We did that big install. And then actually we were contracted by the bid in downtown Springfield and did their containers along Main Street. So that was that was so exciting. So the word is spreading yes. about the amazing yes. work that you do. <laughs> Thank you. What kind of projects do you see for for the flower shed for 2024? Oh, gosh. Um you know, we had a great year. I had a great year last year, although I'm still new to the, you know, in the business. This is year four. Um, if I can kind of duplicate last year, but just continue to, you know, gain new clients, um, flower container clients. Um, I would like to secure some big, uh, some business contracts or, or a bank or two or more. So, um, and then to keep up with the events. We love, again, bringing, um, sharing the plant journey with mm -hmm. people in the community, and then um, the plant boutique. It just um, brings us joy, people coming in and creating and connecting with us and, and buying their favorite plants. I'll, I'll support you in buying the favorite <laughs> plants. <No. laughs> but I do like what you said earlier about, like, team building. And I, I, you know, have been thinking about, oh, with our board, we should do a team building project. And what could that be? And this could be a start. 
It could be a start. And what a great way to bring people together. But the possibilities are endless. You know, you could, as I said, a board, you could do this in our retirement communities. Yes. Um, bring in the plants and allow our, our seniors to get back to using their hands and being able to plant and create things. Yeah, there's science behind it, using your hands in a different way. We use our hands every day to at work, to text, to write, but then just using your hands and to be in a creative just sends off these feel-good um, endorphins. And again, we've um, had the invited the Wilbraham Senior Center in um, last summer to do a paint and plant, and then we've built, been over to the East La Meadow Senior Center, mm-hmm. and we've done a, a paint and plant as well. So um, it is. It's just that uh, moment of time, I think. You know, planting doesn't take long, but it's a moment in time um, that someone can escape from what whatever is going on in, in their lives and just have a moment to themselves and doing something that brings them joy. And that's it. It's that's what I like about stopping in. It's mm-hmm. that little escape little from escape. everything yeah. else. You know, sometimes it's just you're coming home for me anyhow after a long day and just stopping there is it just gives you that serenity before you head on home and then you take home a new friend with mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly i mean there's so much research and you know about plants and how good they are for your home and your environment but really it's good self-care for you i've never met a plant i didn't like <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for sharing with us today about the Flower Shed and all the wonderful things that you do. And I certainly hope that our members, our businesses in the ERC5, will give you a call because I think there's lots of opportunities for so many of them to engage with you. Um, and find creative ways yes. to so whether express. Whether it's our flower containers or going to our workshops or doing a team building event with a uh, plant bar. So, um, yeah, we would yeah, love to connect so with them. There's so many opportunities. What would be the best way for them to get in touch with you? Um, on our website at mm-hmm. theflowershed413.com. Okay. Or you can stop into the um, plant boutique. We're over in Post Office Park. I highly recommend stopping in. (laughs) It's easy um, to get to right off of um, Boston Road at Post Office Square and lots of parking. So it's a win-win. I encourage folks to do that. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us. This was such a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in today for this podcast. If you would like to be the next guest on Conversations with the ERC5, Go to our website. You can sign up there, erc5.com, and you could be the next guest here at Stonegate Studios in Wilbraham. Thank you for joining us. Mm